Imagine walking three days to a clinic. There are 20 people in line ahead of you. By lunchtime, only four have their test results. Traditional malaria testing can't keep up with demand. The traditional blood test needs to be examined under a microscope by a highly trained technician. With the traditional blood test, if the results are negative, it could mean either the person isn't infected or it could mean that the parasite just wasn't detected. So there's a lot of time and effort going into each test and it was difficult to determine whether we were getting the right treatments to the right people. We really needed to make a faster and more definitive test in order to make any headway against this disease. The team from Case Western Reserve University had an idea for a new way of testing. The malaria parasite produces a waste product in the blood that has magnetic properties. So our team thought, rather than detecting the malaria parasite itself, we would make a device that would detect the magnetic waste product. Teams from the Center for Global Health and the Department of Physics worked together to develop the Magneto Optical Detection Device. The new test we've created is 50 times faster than the traditional method, and we can now make it a definitive diagnosis in less than a minute instead of an hour. So our device is 20 times more accurate at one-tenth the cost. It's also small and portable and requires no special training or refrigeration. This test can go out to the patients, which is really important because then we can screen entire villages and identify the carriers of malaria, get them treatment, and eliminate malaria from their village. We've been fighting this enemy for centuries, and we've not always been able to identify the carriers which are continuing to transmit malaria to children. But now, finally, with this test, we can.